Down below, as you can see, I got a rag shoved in there where the oil pump screen is, our pickup tube, because if I happen to drop one of those bolts, I don't want it to go into the abyss. So I'm hoping if I got butterfingers, one of them are the shop rag here will catch the bolt fingers crossed well there's no need to say where I am because you guys know where I am let's hopefully get that oil pump up without dropping the screws into the oil pan get the timing done and let's start the reassembly that's what I'm hoping for at least get started in this video it's been uh, already a shitty Monday you know you got up this morning and really didn't feel like going into work and I just want to get this project done. I just want to get this project done so I can bring the Jeep in. I'm hoping a couple hours every day and then, you know, by the time the weekend is over, fuck, who knows, let's get started. I'm going to tell you right now, I'd rather suffer a painful death than do another oil pump unless the condenser was pulled out. Oh, you know, it's pretty bad when you're using a boroscope. Try to get that screw out. Okay, I've been struggling trying to get that hard one for a while, so... Not gonna lie, getting that oil pump out was a nightmare. I got a draining in there right now. Still not sure how I'm gonna get that other one back in. And it fought me the whole way. Jesus Christ. Now we're going to do the same with the hard one, duct tape, ratchet wrench, long pliers. If you find an easier way, post in the comments below. I'm not sure what I was thinking because the washer on the screw prevents it from falling through, so no duct tape is needed. I'm fucking stressed to the max. Can't get this fucking bolt in on the oil suction. Jesus fucking Christ. What a nightmare. I'm having a hard time trying to get that thing to line up so I put more of a spear on there and see what happens. Oh. That was not a fun freaking job. Stress level to the max. I don't know about you guys, but I think that deserves the motherfucking beer time. Oh, that was the hardest job to do on this truck so far. Holy fuck. I don't know, man. That just fucked up. I think that's it. I think the worst is over. Man, that job is not fun at all. But anyways, I'm going to go inside and relax for the night because whew, I am frustrated after doing the oil pump. Tomorrow when I come out, we're going to do the timing, get the timing back on, hopefully get the front cover back on, and then hopefully by the weekend, like I said, we'll get this done. Well, just going to take it easy today. After yesterday's struggle getting that oil pump in, the only thing I want to accomplish today is just get the timing chains on the tensioners and then we'll worry about putting the cover on tomorrow and then the valve covers and then I think we'll be looking pretty good to get this finished up by the weekend <sighs> another good news my makeshift headband for the uh, GoPro worked okay this was actually um, a drift camera mount that I cut and modified to use as a head strap but then finally the new one came in today from Amazon. Two days, came in a whole kit. So we'll get that transferred over. Get this stuff cleaned up. Get the Chloe's timing components out over here and get to work. Here's all our components right here that we're going to be installing. I'm using a 3 8 
a good time to clean those seal surfaces off just to make sure you can see or I can see the dark spots where they were leaking so I'm gonna feed the chain back there I don't have a clue truck looks dead on to me oh, I got two line my chain up here and too slack right I gotta have it tight if it's not tight it's not going to oh, the fuck in there loosen the chain up okay got the guide in there it begins I need to uh, hook that tensioner up in there. Come on. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Let's get this other one in there. Why didn't I start that camera? Hey? Eh? I can pull my vice grip off because I don't need it on there anymore. And is getting near. Thank God. Where's the side with the marks? Because that's what I need the most. The side right here. For sure. When this job's done, I'm getting myself a hooker. I'm going to bang her so fucking hard, she's going to be screaming, No, Daddy, no! Pull it out, it hurts! There we go. Make sure it's up and over. Too much. Why you do that? Get on there. And if I go forward should take up the slack and I should be still on my marks which this side makes it so much more easier everything is done just reassembly now another fucking beer time shotgun wedding this is a very cool beer can I'm gonna show you this shotgun wedding so you got buddy right here had a night of drinking and partying raw dog some random that he picked up off the street or in the bar knocked her up and now the old man it's forcing him to marry her against his will. Poor guy. Maybe the priest has a pistol to put him out of his misery. Anyways, this is by Half Hitch Brewing Company. And they have some cool brews. Not to mention cool beer can labels. Fucking right, it's motherfucking beer time. Alright, motherfucking beer time everybody. What a relief. The job is over. Just reassembly now. Still a few things that can go south. But if I got it apart this far, I'm gonna get it back together. This has uh, not been a fun job. It's only good because I'm able to create a shitload of content from it. And I'm hoping on the content after about a year. It takes about a year for videos really start to grow. Then they either, you know, don't go anywhere they keep on growing so I'm hoping all the Ford videos I've done so far have been pretty good hoping it keeps up that way anyways I'm gonna get going I just want to do that quick job tonight and uh, a little bit at a time a few days before the weekend put in a solid day on Saturday hoping to have a running anyways I'll talk to you guys later